Bands in the building, you already know what it is, and if you don't know, now you know. If you're new, welcome. I'm Tay Bands. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the Bands Gang fam because Bands Gang is lit, y'all. I miss my Bands Gang so much. I know I've been in my A, but y'all, I'm back and I'm gonna be coming with the bangers. The bu -bu Bangers, like I promised y'all. So I'm bringing y'all the part two to my Q and A video. If y'all haven't seen part one, <laughs> go back and watch it. Okay. So I'm not gonna make this video too long. I'm gonna just jump right into it, y'all. The first question is, what is your favorite things to do? So my top three favorite things to do is going to the studio because you know or if you don't know i am an artist i love going to the studio and recording writing music just being behind the mic watching my producer do his producing like i learn like so many different things when i go to the studio um my second favorite thing to do is network with my friends like share different business ideas with them like all of my friends are dope like they're all creative in their own way they all either they have businesses they're artists like they're going to school for something so i love connecting with my friends like talking about you know just what's going on in their lives we share ideas with each other we support each other we help each other out my third favorite thing to do is YouTube well honestly YouTube is kind of my first it's become like my first favorite thing to do now because I love filming I love like just being in front of the camera talking with y'all I love editing and photography I'm trying to get into more photography and film so like YouTube is a great platform for me to do that so, as you guys can tell, I'm very photogenic. <laughs> so, I love being in front of the camera. Gotten so much more comfortable with being in front of the camera as well. So, those are like my top three favorite things to do. Next question is, how did I get into music? I want to say like, I've always been into music. I've always been around music literally my whole entire life especially like being around my uncle um me and my uncle are like like this we have a very close bond and our bond is because our passion for music we made a song together when i was younger because my uncle's a dj so there's a cd that my great grandmother has hanging up on her wall and it says Lil Tay Tay and DJ LB on it. And I guess like I was rapping over a beat that he was like mixing. So I think that's pretty dope because I'm like I've always been around me like my whole family. Like they they've either played instruments like I know that I played the clarinet for like six years, six close to seven years I played it. So I've always been around music, so, but I know it has definitely started with my uncle. He's always put me on to different genres of hip hop music, so like, I know a little bit about like music from, hip hop music from the 80s, music from the 90s, because he put me on to all of that. Like, my uncle lives in the 90s, like, so. And, and even like he'll go back as far as like the 70s like I'm old head at heart honestly because of him so I definitely know about you know those errors um with music definitely 
one of the main reasons why I got into music, Soto, because like he lives, eats, breathes, sleeps music. Like, you know, he's a DJ, so most definitely my uncle is the one who really got me into music. The next question is, what are my musical inspirations? So I kind of talked a little bit about um, my uncle, who's a DJ. He's definitely one of my main musical inspirations because, like, if it wasn't for him, like, I wouldn't be put on to the music from, like, the 80s and the 90s. So he is um, my producer, like, seeing him in the studio, like, producing music, that inspires me to want to become a producer myself because I don't know what it is like I have I don't know like I don't know if anybody else has this but I can like hear beats in my head like I can just like come up with like random beats in my head but I'm like dang it just messed up because like I don't know how to produce yet so I can't just like oh I have a beat in my head and then just go and like cook it up in the studio like I can't do that but one day I'll be able to but my producer is one another one of my um musical inspirations also my friends like my friends who are artists they inspire me doing music because like mm, I haven't really like felt that inspired to do music lately because I'm trying to focus on other stuff like YouTube and business stuff but my friends are definitely my friends who are artists are definitely a big part of where I get my musical inspiration from they raw like they they good they they real talented they real talented so uh, those are a couple of my musical inspirations next question is when are you dropping your first album Tay Vance, when are you dropping your first album? I I honestly don't know. I I don't have a date. I don't have a date on when I'm gonna drop a first album. I honestly was supposed to then come out with an album. I was gonna come out with it like during the summer or after the summer. Cause when okay, so Don't Try Me came out in June. So I was gonna put it I was gonna put an EP out right after that so like right when August hit I was gonna put an EP out like I was trying to get it out before October and then I was like okay I'm gonna work on another project and I was gonna work on a whole album and I was gonna put that out for y'all but life happens guys life happens so I definitely do want to get back in the studio and start working on a project Hopefully one of these days I sneak an album out on y'all or at least an EP or something. Because I know y'all waiting for Tay Bands to drop some more banger songs. Like, I already know. I already know. So, I got y'all. I don't know when, but it's going to be coming. Just stay tuned. Next question is, am I single? Is Tay Bands single? Yes, y'all. I'm single. Single like a Pringle. <laughs> single like a Pringle. Yeah, y'all, like, I don't think relationships is for me right now, so I'm taking a break. But yeah, your girl TB is single, so, you know, I'm just focusing on me right now. I'm just doing me right now, so that's all that matters. Like, I'm still young. I have my whole life to wait for my king. So, yeah, I'm single. Single, single. Single, single. single. So the last question to close out the part two QA is what is one thing that I could tell people who are dealing with the depression how to get out of it? and still have a passion to do what they want to do so the one thing that i could say 
is it gets easy it may not seem like it does but it definitely gets easier you just you can't give up on yourself for one and you can't give up on your dream um dealing with depression for me it it, it was rough um i have been dealing with it for a very long time um probably since middle school i would say that's when i really just started recognizing it because i was just acting out of character like i would be very sad and lonely and stuff like that but i mean sometimes i'll deal with it a little bit but it's not as bad because you have to keep yourself surrounded by positive people um definitely pray um i know but not everybody's you know religious not everybody prays but um there's different ways to deal with it just don't give up on yourself don't give up on your dream you can overcome depression it may seem like you can't you know but you can it's just it's just the devil it's just the devil he just be it's like it feels like he's just hovering over you and i know what that feels like trust me i know what that feels like i was i was in a very dark place in my life before so I just want to say to those who are dealing with depression you can overcome it and just know that if you need somebody to talk to i'm here for you because i know exactly what you're going through um and depression is no joke and like especially it is frowned upon in the black community sadly um but it's just the world that we live in. Um, but you know, I, I know a lot of I know a lot of black people, you know, and it's not even just black people, just people in general who are dealing with depression. So um yeah, like all I can say is keep pushing, do not give up, like do not give up on yourself, do not give up on your dream and it does get easier and if you feel like you know you don't have anybody that loves you and cares about you i care about you i love you and um just keep pressing forward and you're gonna be able to overcome this dark thing this dark cloud of depression so Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. And don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and do not forget to subscribe to join the Benz Gang fam. So I'll see y'all in the next one.